What is your cringy moment that haunts you when trying to fall asleep? There's some weird song in one of the really old Tony Hawk games where the lyrics say something like she's got a demon between her legs with a mind of its own. So six year old me, while I was at grandma's, whispered in my mom's ear while pointing at my grandma grandma's got a demon between her legs with a mind of its own just thinking I was being goofy. Thinking back on it, no, no no no. Song is big shits by ID and abilities, and it appears at Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. One of my teachers had just announced that he has serious prostate cancer, so naturally I decided to tell him about how my dad had prostate cancer and ended up dying. Not my proudest moment, but 1.5 years later, he is fine and is teaching again. I had a classmate whose dad had that but she accidentally told me it was prostitute cancer. I used to sit naked in this tree at the end of our drive thinking no one could see me, but it is very very obvious. Like people aren't going to notice a naked kid in a tree without leaves. I wasn't even high up or anything. Oh god. And my family is too awkward to ever bring something like that up. As a soccer ref, I called an illegal, one-handed throw-in, on a girl with only one arm. Didn't realize until a parent had to point it out to me that she only had one arm. Poor girl couldn't have been older than 14. On the bright side. There's a good chance that she was self-conscious about it and worried about being stared at and all that. So in a way you proved it's not the first thing everyone noticed about her. When I was a kid a friend brought me to the lake. I had to go to the bathroom and he told me just to go in the lake. His sister and her friend were swimming next to us so I said I felt weird. He said it fine he's doing it as we speak. So I pulled down my trunks and let a huge turd out. To my surprise crap floats. His sister and her friend screamed as they tried to get away from the floating poo. I was on my uncle's boat as an 8 year old and really had to poop. My large family was there for a reunion party on the boat and I thought I would be clever to poop in the water at the front of the boat as the family were all gathered around the back. Yet poop floats. It floated all the way back there. I was humiliated ha 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 I feel your pain bro. When I was in middle school there was a lunch line and the principal would put his hand out in front of you so you wouldn't keep going cause if not the little area would get full. But I didn't know that so when he put his hand in front of me I just high fived it and kept walking. I realized what I had done and just pretended it was intentional. That's the best way to handle such a thing. Own it. Tried to learn some lines last minute when I was playing a king in our school nativity. I fricked the lines up and had a mental breakdown in front of the entire school. It was really bad too. Full on shaking my arms in anger and screaming new with tears in my eyes. I had to do a piano recital once and I had trouble with the piece where I would always mess up at the same place in the song. Day of the recital comes along and I screw up at said place. I yell out you ops. Frick because that's what I always did when I practiced and messed up. I was 10. All the parents laughed. We have it on home video. I met this girl from Wyoming at a party in Seattle. I am also from Wyoming so we had all kinds of Wyoming crap to talk about. She is fiends with my wife's sister so it wasn't sexual tension or anything. We were just two Wyomingites talking Wyoming. The conversation hit a lull after we covered everything we could cover about Wyoming and I filled it with this question. So, where are you from? Sounds like a good joke. In high school, popular kids invited me out for lunch, got nervous and pretended to fall asleep in the car on the 5 minute drive to Burger King, and sat in the car quietly while they ate inside. This one breaks my heart. My mom had cleaned my coat before school and literally pulled it out of the dryer before I ran to catch the bus. I a couple of kids pointing at me on my way and laughing and I couldn't understand why. It wasn't until I got into the school and saw my friend that she pulled my hood forward and brought to my attention that attached to the velcro of my hood was one of my dad's tighty witties. I could never live this one down. Long story short I faked shooting myself in the head cause of an inconvenience, like a dramatic, oh kill me, right in front of a lady whose brother shot himself days before. I did this on a first date except it was her husband who shot himself. I once was so lost in a daydream that after coming back from refilling my plate at a buffet I sat down at the wrong table, while another family was still there. I'm a white guy, out drinking with my black co-worker and his black friend. We see our manager's manager, also black, 
and decide to bring him a shot. For whatever reason I walk the shot over to him. With both the co-worker and friend watching, I proceed to give it to the wrong black guy. They gave me crap for days. I worked with a bunch of women as a nurse. We had a float working on the east side of the unit who was male. He called me to discuss a fire needing to be put out, and as we hung up I said, Thanks, I love you. Out of pure habit from talking to my husband on the phone, I turned to the nurse next to me and said, Did I just tell Doug I love him? We never spoke of it. That one always makes me cringe. A guy was talking to my dad on the phone one day and out of habit from talking to my so all the time called him babe. This was only a year ago but I still wanna die. I was a fat kid who refused to wear jeans because they were uncomfortable and I was a weirdo. I exclusively wore dress pants all through middle school. I would only wear capris or jeans in the summer because I was mortified of people seeing my thighs. Also, no tank tops. I was the girl who wore baggy boy jeans shorts and baggy t-shirts because I was so painfully self-conscious. So me and my brothers like to purposely mispronounce words, cause we think it's funny and we're lame. Anyways we were at dinner with family and we were passing the coke bottle around to serve ourselves and without thinking I said hey dude want some dong and I immediately realized what I said, apologized, and went straight to my room. I regret it so much. My brothers laughed but the rest of my family did not. My boys do this. Time is Tim, life is Liv etc. I think I'll keep the coke away. Was in third grade and some boys were wrestling and horsing around on the playground. I asked to join, got the go ahead, didn't know the rules, proceeded to spin around and kick a kid straight in the head. KO. I lectured my grade 3 class about how the singular of sheep is sheep. I acted like my classmates were a bunch of brain dead morons for not knowing this. Wake up Shoopal. I used to eat pedigree dog food, to the extent my parents had to lock it up, and wear my sister's bikinis. I don't remember these things too well, but I can remember the taste of the dog food and my mom has plenty of pictures. And yes, I'm a guy. I used to eat dog food too. My parents had to put it in childproof containers because I would eat it by the fistful. I would sneak into the corner and eat it too lol. I was in primary school, year 6 I believe, and I wouldn't have been about 11 at the time. One day the deputy principal was having an intense discussion in his classroom during lunch break. He seemed to be acting as a mediator to sort out a conflict between a group uncomfortable looking kids who were all standing around him. I happened to be using one of the computers in the room nearby and listened in curiously as I overheard bits of whatever drama was unfolding between them. To this day I have no freaking idea what came over me, but for some reason I decided it was appropriate to walk over, lean down and slam my palms on the teacher's desk like I owned the place, said so, what's going on here and looked around at each of them expectantly like they were actually about to recount the story to me in its entirety. The deputy principal was this stern older guy who was not the type to be fricked with. He just looked at me with the most incredulous look on his face for a couple of seconds and blinked. Wah. None of your business. Everyone stared at me in silence for several seconds and I walked off sheepishly. I still have no idea what came over me that day. This was not normal behavior for me. I still cringe about it occasionally. Ha 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 ha. I love this. I wonder what caused you to act out of character. It's so cute. High school a boy I liked passed me a birthday invitation. I smiled huge, said thanks and folded it up in my book only to have him lean over and explain it was for the kid on the other side of me and I was supposed to pass it. A decade later and I still cringe. I have a couple. First off, I was having lunch with my dad's cousin. Her and her husband were already mid 30s. While I was 13, when she asked me what I like to eat at school, to not paying attention, I thought he asked what's your favorite thing about school, being a smartest. I answered the girls, she rolled her eyes, her husband smiled, and it took me years to realize what I exactly said that day. I remember being a little kid and seeing makeouts on TV, thinking it was normal, I kissed my mom like the people on the TV. I know I was a kid and a lot of kids do that. But the thought is mortifying. I licked my mom's mouth when she was putting me to bed one night because that's what they did in the Lion King. Friend of mine was going through a rough time and I was comforting him over the phone. 
told him how strong of a person he was and meant to tell him something along the line of love you, bro. Instead after an awkward silence I just said I love you, followed by nothing else. He said it back which was nice. Not cringy at all if you are brothers. Lengthy one, we'll put a TL, DR, at the end. Up until midway through the third grade, I didn't talk in school, ever, to anybody, during kindergarten. First, and second grade it was just because I was scared too. I don't know why. I was just afraid to talk to anybody new. This included teachers, nurses, classmates, etc. So, there was a time in the second grade, I had just moved to a new school, which made me even more scared of talking, and I had to take a crap, like, Hershey squirts, flames bursting from the gates of heck levels of diarrhea. My class was doing some group activity which I, of course, worked alone on, so I decided to go to the bathroom by myself. Without anyone knowing, I just walked out of the room to go take my crap. After about 10-15 minutes of crapping, I hear multiple classmates of mine come into the bathroom screaming my name trying to find me, didn't know why, refused to come out. I also had major anxiety issues so knowing they were looking for me for some reason terrified me. So I sat on the back of the toilet after I was done crapping to hide. After a few hours pass I finally decided to just leave the bathroom. My classroom was right across the hall. I went back in and it was empty, so I just sat down and waited. Eventually my teacher comes walking in with two cops, and then absolutely loses her crap and bursts into tears when she sees me. Turned out when they noticed I was missing they turned the entire classroom into a search party for me and just couldn't find me. They dismissed all classes for the day for an investigation. They had issued missing child alerts for me and were about to try to issue an amber alert with all of my mom's personal info because they tried calling her. She didn't answer and had just lost custody of me to my dad. So they thought she kidnapped me. It also didn't help that I wouldn't talk so I refused to tell them where I was or why eft. Had to wait for my dad to take me home and then told him so he could relay it to them. TL. DR. Was a mute. Left classroom to go to the bathroom in second grade. Caused a school wide panic and almost got my mom arrested. This is fantastic. I feel like every school has that one kid that doesn't talk until like third grade for whatever reason. And everyone's just okay with it. A former boss tried to hook me up with his cousin. When he got to said location. I saw him and commented on his big eyes. I kept on and on about how big they were and he excused himself to the bathroom. Boss told me they were big because of his thyroid problem. I then turned it around and said they were so beautiful. Made out with him later out of shame. I mixed up two black co-workers during my first week on the job. In my own defense, they do bear a very strong resemblance to each other in many other ways besides skin color. But I still want to crawl into a hole forever when I think about it. They're both very nice and have hopefully decided not to hold it against me permanently. Sorry bro, we secretly resent the heck out of you and are planning our payback. This was shortly after seeing an animated Adam Sandler movie. I can't remember the name of it, but it was centered around Christmas time about a decade ago. Give or take. Anyways. During a musical number in the movie, one of the characters sings a phrase containing and have sex on the phone, I don't know the full lyric, and me, being the savvy 8 year old that I was, chose to repeat this exact phrase on his next phone call, not knowing what it meant at all, so I'm on the phone with my mom the next day, when I promptly interrupt her and say hey mom, can we have sex on the phone? 50 shades of yikes, p.s. They put ratings on movies for a reason. Don't let your kids watch movies that are clearly out of their age range. Thanks dad. 8 Crazy Nights was the movie. When I was about 10, my parents took me to a bar and grill that had karaoke. I decided that I for sure wanted to sing Buster Move by Young MC. I froze almost immediately, and then my mom tried to come up and save me by rapping Young MC while I stood there, horrified. Such a sweet mom, though. In high school, one of my best friends was this gay guy and we did this thing where we would slap each other's butt when we weren't paying attention. No idea why we did this, but anyway, one day we're meeting up at the movies, and I go up to some guy that I thought was my friend, but no, I smacked the butt of a total stranger. They didn't even really look alike, 
just had a similar body type from the back. He tried to buy me a drink and I had no idea what to say while my friend is staring at me in horror. There were tons of witnesses. Also, I lost my retainer in 5th grade and accused my entire class of stealing it. I was freaking out because I knew my dad would flip out at me and make me pay for it. My parents live in the same hometown that I grew up in, and people still remember this story. FML. He tried to buy me a drink. Well at least he was a good sport about it. A few years ago while I was bartending at a high end casino, a guest came up to my bar and ordered a wet pee. I was relatively new so I wanted to ask if he would like it as a drink or just a shot, but what I actually said was, you mean the drink? I took multiple screenshots of the guy's pictures, on snapchat, in my defense, I didn't know that snapchat let people know of screenshots, I cringe about this a lot. Been there, done that, I also did not know that snapchat lets you see if someone saves your message, fasapum. That time I left poetry in a girl's voicemail, I really hope she's dead just for safety sake, or got a new phone in the past 12 years, but dead would be safer. Edit. Thank you everybody for sharing your similar stories. I'm not sure if it makes me feels better because it makes mine seem more normal, or if we're all weird and misery prefers company, but it helps nonetheless. Ironically enough, I called my boss at work mom today after he gave me instructions. What made it worse was that he is a guy. I'm not sleeping tonight. I called in sick once and told my supervisor, I can't make it in today, coach. My brother, 10 years older than me, gave me some of his makeup that he didn't use anymore. I used the lipstick and shortly afterwards got a text from his roommate, my best friend, telling me not to use the lipstick cause he has herpes. I ended up going to the doctor for a sore on my lip and told the nurse it could be herpes. The nurse asked where I got it from and I just replied my brother before my soul melted out of my body begged a girl to kiss me back in primary school and told her I was desperate. Word got out and I was made fun of. That was a good one. Was with a chick in Boston and the two of us were naked on the floor dry humping and making out when I made a pretty loud fact after trying to hold it in for ages. She pretended not to notice which was nice. Said frick in an interview for a serious job. Threatened to nuke the US. Mountain ranges are created by tectonic activity added up over millions of years. Oil and water do not combine well with each other due to the polarity of the molecules. In 6th grade I cried in front of the class BC some kid said my drawing was stupid and I look back at this with some serious horror sometimes. I once saw a girl with like 30 balloons crying at school on valentine's day once. Turns out one of her balloons popped. She was at least 11 years old. Had at least 29 more. When I was younger and a bit of a spaz I saw a goofy looking medical name for a disease and I started sounding it out and saying it all sorts of stupid ways for some reason and in different cartoony voices and what not until my stepdad yelled that his brother had just died from that literally the day before. I've never seen someone so hurt and barely containing their anger. My husband and I had been discussing a family member of his just before an independence day barbecue at our home. The woman at the time who was the topic of our convo was going through a divorce but had openly shared with me that she had slept with three different guys in a two day period who were good friends of her soon to be ex. We did not realize our 11 year old at the time, who has Asperger's so he has no filter, had been listening in from the hallway. Fast forward a few hours and my son is in the pool with her son. And he says my dad said your mom's like a huge W. Needless to say, the rest of the barbecue was super awkward and a good bit of my evening spent on damage control. I'm a hostess at a restaurant and a family 25 came out to eat and caused a lot of problems. This was shortly after I had a baby so basically I said frick makeup and just ignored how many people said I looked tired. Anyways, the man of the family made two of our servers cry and made a scene about everything wrong with the food, drinks, and they were never coming back. He comes by me to pay the check and he snaps his fingers for me to move along, grunts when I ask him questions, just being a rude frick. He drops his wallet and I pick it up to hand it to him and he says thank you sis so I just snap at him and tell him that was unnecessary and I'm a woman and it's not funny to call me sir. He was talking to his son behind him, who handed him a pen. The whole family witnesses this and their stifling laughs as I just backtrack and apologize. 
They usually come out during the first week of July. The mom insisted feed be back. And I already asked off work to avoid them. It still haunts me that I decided to speak up for myself in that moment. Frick. No you were in the right there don't cringe. You stood up for yourself and work peers treat yourself. Got drunk absolutely hammered at a new year's eve party sophomore year. Vomited all over myself. And proceeded to remove not only my pants but also my underwear in front of 15-20 of my classmates. I'm glad I transferred schools that summer. Not because of this. I think of it every new years. Ah a fellow drunken stripper. Every time I wake up after a heavy night the first thing I do is message my most trustworthy buds asking them if I strip this time. In 10th grade. My friend and I were in drama class together. We had to do a lip sync together. And we were cringy huge Green Day fans. We did American Idiot. Even borrowed my dad's guitars to do it. My teacher recorded all the performances without me knowing and played it for all her classes a few days later. We were both awkward, chubby girls, with dyed green hair, on top of it all. I've been out of high school for 10 years and I still am red in the cheeks right now thinking about it. If it helps I had a screamo band when I was like 12 where none of us knew how to play any instruments. And we still performed at the youth club every week. On top of that, I wrote all the lyrics, half of which were inappropriately pulled from a thesaurus. When I was about 8 I was with my uncle and cousin at Walmart. My uncle stopped to talk to a guy who was the police chief and we were right by a section selling a bow and arrows. Without thinking, I say all excited, hey we can kill somebody with this. I saw Lil Wayne wear an I am hip hop shirt back in the day, so in high school 0910, I wore one and didn't even listen to hip hop rap. My nickname was hip hop too, frick. I can't tell if you're serious or not. Oh also, I thought I invented masturbating and I had no idea it was frowned upon to just go at it, worst of all no one told me for a long time. I'm cringing too much to get into details but, frick. This was me too. I started when I was 7 years old and I guess people felt too awkward to confront me about it. At the time I thought I was being discreet, but in retrospect it was always super obvious. I still worry that despite anything great I accomplish in life, the people I grew up with will always think of me as the wild fapper. I have hundreds of these and they plague me every day. In fact one time I even did a speech on them in my English class which that in and of itself was a huge cringy mistake that continues to replay in my head to this day. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.